What's up everyone, Chris here with Archipelago. So today we're going to be focusing in on our new lens effects set. I'm going to guide you through all the features along with some tips and tricks to help you get the best possible results. Let's jump in. Quest Lens Effects comes with six unique flaring effects along with a ton of variants to help you perfectly customize them to your work. First off, you'll see each preset labeled with an H or a V. This designates the horizontal or vertical orientation of your image. Next, you'll notice an A and B variant for each preset. These are meant to help match the perspective of your image and the direction the light source is traveling. Lastly, you'll see a second black and white preset folder. As it's labeled, these are intended to be used with black and white imagery. With the basics out of the way, let's go ahead and edit a few images. Let's go ahead and move on to our first image. So, as we can see, the light source is coming from the right-hand side of the image. So I'm going to want something from right to left, okay? In this case, I'm going to use LE01B. Give it a click. Nice beam of light coming through the center of the frame. Let's bump up the exposure ever so slightly. And then let's throw on one of our presets. How about Quest 012? Give it a click. And yeah, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and move on to the next. With this image, our light source is leaning towards the right, so I'm gonna still want something from right to left. So I'm gonna go ahead and do LEO2B here. That's looking good, give that a click. And I actually wanna adjust the position of the flare itself. And this can be done easily by heading over to the brush panel on the right hand side, give it a click. You can see we've got the little gray circle here. You're gonna to wanna to give that a click and then you can move it exactly where you want it. And I'm thinking right about there, it's looking great. Go ahead and close out of that. I'm gonna bring my exposure down a little bit, add a little bit more drama to the photo here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a preset. Um, and in this one, I think I'm gonna do, yeah, AQ01. Lift up the exposure just a little bit here. And that's looking perfect. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so as you can see, the sun is located on the left-hand side of this image and then the light is moving from left to right. So we're gonna go ahead and use an A variant, LEO3A. Perfect. Um, and the orb that I have with the lens flare isn't matching up perfectly with the sun, so I'm gonna wanna adjust that. So I'm gonna head over to my brush, I'm gonna give it a click, move it up here. Right about there looks great. And I actually, this one over here is getting hidden a little bit. And I'm gonna just move that up slightly, just so you can see it more. Right about there is looking great. Go ahead and close out of the brush. As far as the exposure, it's looking pretty good and my white balance. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a preset. How about we do AQ3 on this one? Looking great. Bring that exposure down slightly. Yeah, right about there, I'm digging it. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so our light source is on the left-hand side of the image again. So I'm gonna wanna use an A variant. I'm gonna apply LE04A, give that a click. Um, and it's a little too prominent for my liking. I wanna tone it back a little bit. So head over to your brush panel here. All right, and you're gonna actually go ahead and click on the circle here so you can make adjustments to it if you need. One that I love to do is you head down to the range mask, give that a click, click on luminance, and then you're gonna adjust the smoothness, pull that up to 100, and then you can actually tone back the range and you'll notice that it kind of blends in the flare with the image a lot better. Yeah, just like that, keep taking it down. I want it right about there. That's looking great. Close out of that. Let's go ahead and apply a preset. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with two on this. Perfect. Let's play with the exposure a little bit. Right about there is looking great. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So for this particular image, our light source is a little bit off to the left, so I'm gonna go ahead and use something from left to right. I'm gonna use LEO5A. Go ahead and give that a click. I'm actually happy with where that's at. I'm just gonna adjust the white balance a little bit. Perfect, tone down that magenta, maybe the exposure slightly. And then I'm gonna apply AQ012, give that a click. I'm gonna dehaze ever so slightly right about there and then bump the exposure a bit and that's looking great to me. Perfect, let's go ahead and move on to the next image. Now for this particular image, I'm gonna use something a little bit more special. I'm gonna go ahead and use LEO6, which emulates 
a ring of fire style effect, much like what you can get with the copper tube. Now, there's definitely some adjustments I need to make to this, but I wanna show you how I'm gonna accomplish it, okay? So let's go ahead and click on our brush panel here. Now, with each of these, okay, you can hover over just to see exactly what you'll be affecting. Okay, and so what I actually want to do is I want to get rid of this big glow because this image is already so bright. I just want to get rid of that. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and readjust the placement of all these rings to where it's centered around that sun. So give me a sec here. All right, right about there is looking great to me. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this panel. The white balance, I think I'm gonna go with something a lot warmer here. Pull that up, that's looking great. Then let's go ahead and apply EQ2. Yeah, that's looking great. Pull that exposure down ever so slightly. Right about there, looks fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next. All right, now for this particular image, I wanna go ahead and do a black and white edit. So, first off, I'm going to apply a preset from the Archipelago North Star Pack. Let's go ahead and do NS06. Give that a click, looking good. Now there's already a lens flare in the bottom right hand corner of this image, but I wanna add something up to the top left, okay? So make sure that you have your uh, lens effects black and white folder open, not the other. All right, and let's go ahead and use leo 3 a Give that a click. Okay, then I'm gonna head over to my brush panel. I wanna delete this one on the bottom right, so right click it, delete. Perfect. Then I want to readjust my orb up here to center it around that light source. Right about there is looking good. It's a little strong for me. So, like we did before, head down to the range mask, click on luminance, push up the smoothness, and then pull down that range just to where we get it where we like it. About right about there. That looks great to me. Perfect. Close that up. Yeah, there's nothing else I would do. Let's go ahead and move on to the next. And with this image, I just wanna remind everybody to use the vertical orientation on vertical images, okay? So, let's see what we've got here. Now, my light source is on the right-hand side, so that's gonna be from right to left, so I'm gonna to wanna to use a B variant. Yeah, I'm actually digging this leo 2 b Give that a click. I'm gonna to wanna to adjust where it's located in the frame. Click on that brush panel. I think I'm gonna put it right at the bottom of the frame, right about here, that's looking good. Perfect, click out of that. Let's go ahead and apply a preset. Perfect, and it's a little faded actually, so let's see if we can bump it up just a bit here by bumping up those shadows, yeah. Just like that. Perfect, looking great. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the before and afters. Thank you for tuning in everyone. I hope this video was helpful and informative. This is Chris signing off and I'll see you in the next one.